right. So we saw in FlowCab, they used a method of the factor tree method, which is a method you saw that it kind of branched out into its different factors. And you would see that it eventually breaks down. <coughs> So we're going to look at how they do it. Write the given number to begin. In our example, we're going to find the prime factorization of 120. So I wrote down 120. Choose two numbers which multiply to the given number. So 12 and 10. So we have a nomination of 12 and 10 as our two factors of 120. If the number is prime, circle it. You will not need to do anything else to this number. Do we have any prime numbers? No, we don't. So as FlowCab said, we got to break it down. If the number is composite, find two numbers which multiply to the number. Let's start with 10. What are two factors of 10? 5 and 2. 5 and 2. And, two. and Preston says they are both prime. So we're going to circle them because they are prime numbers. That's <coughs> magical. Now we will go back up to this factor. What are two factors of 12? 6 and 2. Three and four. I hear 6 and 2 and 3 and 4. And two. To make it different, I'm going to break it up into 3 and 4. We've already seen a 2 factor before. 3 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. 4 is not. So we're still going to break it down until we get to prime factors. And our factors of 4 are 2 and 2. So now we have our factor tree. And we can write this out as, I always like to start with my lowest factors first. So I write 2. There are 3 2, so I write to the power of 3 times 3 times 5. And that is our prime factorization of 120. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3. There is another method of prime factorization. I like this method a lot. I grew up with this method, so this comes pretty natural to me. But the birthday cake method is pretty easy to see the numbers as you're, mul as you're factoring them out. That's 35 so we're going to start by writing the given number, 120. And I actually like to think of this as an upside down birthday cake. Because what you're going to do is we're going to draw kind of like an upside down division bar underneath it. This is our first, this is our bottom layer of our birthday cake. Find a prime number that divides evenly into the given number. So what is a prime number that will divide into 120? Two. Usually if it's even, we can always say it's divisible by two. Three would have worked in this case too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to divide the given number, our given number is 120, by the prime number and write the results as the next layer of the cake. So what's 120 divided by two? Uh, is 60. So we write 60 below, and here's our next layer of our birthday cake. <coughs> and we're going to keep going. I'm going to mix it up. Preston suggested we divide by 3. Can 3 go into 60? 
Yes, it can. Yes, Sixty divided by three twenty. is twenty. So we'll write down twenty. Here's our next layer. You start to see the birthday cake. I'm going to divide by two again. So we get ten. We divide by five. Five is a prime number. We are left with two, and we keep we keep repeating the process until we end with a one. So two, two is a prime number, so its only factors are one in itself. So I'm gonna write two out here, and I get one. And if I turn it, no here's my birthday cake with the candle no on top. Well, my oh, birthday cakes are never oh, that big. Birthday cakes. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Okay, we do two, three, two. All of my factors. All of my factors are prime, and they're all listed right here. These are my prime factors. So I would get 2 times 3 times 2 times 5 times 2, or 2 to the third power times 3 times 5.